Hi guys. Um, I'm having a bit of a yucky day today, so I'm not going to show you my face on camera. But I always do baking up to Christmas, and the Bake Off starts now, and it's something not very Christmassy, but my husband work loves them, and so does my son. So instead of the mince pies that I'm going to make later on in the week, I'm going to be making my honey flapjacks, and they're yummy too. So we have oats, uh, light sugar, any honey, glacé cherries or dry cherries, and any fruits, and obviously butter, which obviously I've dusted up already. So we need 200 grams of butter, we need 200 grams of sugar, and 200 grams of honey. That to start off with, and you melt it all in a pan. And then basically after it's all melted, dissolved, the sugar, you put in, uh, let me think, let me, ah, that's it, 400 grams of oats, and you put in 50 grams of any dried fruit, you can put nuts, you can put seeds in it if you want to, Mis whisk it all up, put it in a tin, and basically put it in the oven for 20 odd minutes. So I'm going to show you halfway through what it looks like and everything else, so... See you in a minute guys! Back again, stage two. Sorry for that loud noise, it's my oven. It, the fan is on so it's making noise. Right, we have this, which is 200 grams of melted butter, 200 grams of clear honey and 200 grams of any type of sugar that you like, but I use the soft brown. We have 50 grams of any dried fruits and glassy cherries and well 400 grams of porridge oats. Now what I'm going to do is turn the heat off and no, put in no, 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 my dried fruit no, 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 no. and very carefully and then it goes all over my oven but that's okay because I'm the only one that clears it anyway. And then, just stir it all together. I will be back. Right, it's all stirred up, as you can see. And they're the most easiest, healthiest, well, I wouldn't say healthy because of all the butter and everything. But obviously, instead of golden syrup, it's got the honey in there. You can put nuts in, you can put any dried fruit in, you can put cranberries in to make it that little bit of a twist. You can put orange peel, etc, etc. So, I'm just going to put all of that now into there and obviously I can't use both hands so I will have to come back again. Right guys, it's all in a non-stick tin, obviously you don't have to line it um, if you've got non-stick, but obviously if it's non-stick then, you know, put lined in. Right, 180 for 18 to 20 minutes. So, in we go. And then we will come back and see what they're like. Well, it's been 22 minutes exactly, and there you go. It's actually still bubbling around the sides. So as soon as it gets just a bit done, it's it meant to be gooey as well. So, and there's the chocolate in the bowl ready for the microwave. So when that's cooled down, pour the chocolate on. There you go, ready to eat. Anyway, I'll show you it plated up when it's cooled down. Well, guys, here they are. They're a bit broken up a bit too much. I've got some for my husband for work tomorrow and I've given them sort of the little bits as you can tell that, that I've cut up a bit wrongly. But there you go, they all go down the same way. There they are. Hope you like the first one of my cook-off because I'm going to be doing it all week. Bye guys. 